everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation. I just had a quick project I'm going to share with you, and I think I'll be doing a tutorial on this soon, um, but I just wanted to show you my prototype because it actually turned out pretty cute. Um, what I decided to make was an ephemera holder, excuse me, that um, I could put in some different pieces that I have made. And I started off with some paper collection that I got from Tuesday morning. Um, unfortunately, the Tuesday morning in my neck of the woods, they're all closing. So um, I kind of bought up what they had that I thought I would use. And I found this paper collection, which I thought was really pretty. So I had they had two of them and I bought them. Um, it's by Kaiser Craft. It's called The Flower Shop. And it was done, I don't know when. I'm trying to find a date, but I do not see one. Let me see. I'm still looking, but I don't see one. I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, um, I did purchase this from, like I said, Tuesday morning. And the flowers here are from Prima. And I think I got those on clearance at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And I just thought it would work really pretty. Um, the cardstock that I used is from Country Craft Creations. I used Craft and Brown. And then I used Seam Binding from Country Craft Creations. But what this is is a little ephemera folder. And it's a little bit different in that what I did was I adapted... A honeycomb like fabric organizer type thing um, that I have seen on Pinterest and adapted it to paper and so I created this and it measures in total it's 11 and a quarter inches wide and it is roughly four and three quarters ish or so um, tall. I think I'm going to make it bigger. I think the pockets are only four inches deep and I think I might try a different size, but I really like how it, it is like width wise because the pockets are fairly big and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So this is the paper that I used and, um, then when you open it up, it's just a simple closure. So it opens up. Here's the inside of the lid. I use some of the ephemera pieces that I have left over to just kind of decorate the front. And then if you take a look inside, check that out. I just, I love how that worked out. I used pattern paper. So we can get a different view here. I used pattern paper for the pockets and the paper was, you know, not super thick, but it wasn't super thin either. So I think the thicker cardstock wouldn't work quite as well but you can really open these pockets up and you can see the honeycomb pockets that it creates so I used five pieces of paper to make the pockets and then um, I used the extras to cover the folder and it worked out great so then um, I had some ephemera done that I had a long time ago finished and they're like cluster ephemera pieces so for junk journaling and stuff, you can just go through like an ephemera pack and then just, just kind of layer pieces together. And then this, I use my, my um, Tim Holtz stapler to just kind of, I'm going to just set that down, um, just kind of staple bits and pieces together. So they're all ready to go for junk journaling. So like little embellishments, you could take um, some of these and you could like glue them on a couple sides and make pockets behind them. But I just thought it was a really cool thing. Now I had made these before and I had put them in a plastic bag and they were sitting, but now they have a beautiful home to uh, play in. So then um, I had some other ephemera pieces that, let me show you here, I'll find the packages. Um, I got these at Tuesday morning as well. <clears throat> and they are, one was from Kane Company and one was from, let's see, Dear Lizzie. And I got these from Tuesday morning as well. And so I just sat and I kind of made some more. So I did go through my stash and find this blue tag. And I think I'm going to go through and maybe put some ribbon scraps on here. But I just kind of layered some things. Again, more flowers from my um, the Prima flowers that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And basically, these are just glued. So I just kind of put some pieces together that I really liked and glued them together and made some really pretty ephemera pieces as well. So I didn't use staples on those. Let me grab a couple more and I'll show you um, what they look like. But like this one here has a little tag. So I'm going to put some um, ribbon in there. I haven't done that yet, but it says better together. And it's just floral and butterflies and really super pretty. Um, this one says gather in the garden with the birdhouse. I just, I love layering these things. I think that's really pretty. Uh, this one also has a tag here. This would be great to make a little tuck spot in your uh, junk journaling. So um, just let me grab, I'll grab a couple more and we'll go through. I don't want to bore you too much with the, with the, what I made, but I just wanted to share with you 
all of the pretties that you can make just buying, you know, a clearance ephemera pack and then just putting them together. I mean, it's just really awesome. There's a couple pieces that I kind of mixed and matched. Like this was from one kit and then this was from another kit. So, um, you know, you get things that work really well together. Uh, this one here I thought was kind of fun. They had ephemera teacups and I cut a slit in the cups and then I put the the bottom of the teacups inside so it looks like they're stacked and then I added the birds and the flower and I think that turned out really pretty so the back just looks like that I mean they're just glued together basically um just I, and this thing holds a ton I mean I can't believe it um I went through this one here I created a pocket on the ephemera piece itself and then I put these little tickets inside, put the little flower on there. Turned out really pretty. This I just left plain because it's a nice journaling card. So I thought, well, I'm just going to tuck that in there and that can stay in there. But this thing can hold a ton of things. Um, let's see, I'll show you one more and then I will be done. <laughs> How's that? So I won't bore you too much. Um, this one here, again, I created a little pocket with the ephemera. And then I just put these little ticket pieces inside. I thought that was really pretty. And then um, I layered the flower on top. And it's just a really cute little place. You can even journal on this. And this one here is a guest check. And um, I mixed and matched. So this came from one set, the Hello Lovely. This came from the other set. And then the little flower on the side. Isn't that pretty? So I was having fun just kind of layering these things together, adding the butterflies here to that. And it's just super, super pretty. So this is my ephemera folder, and um, I really, really like how it turned out. And I think it's going to, you can see how much I've put in here already. And then you can see how much more I have in there. And I, I could stuff more in there if I wanted to. Um, I could just keep going and going and going. So I just wanted to share this with you. And I think I will do a tutorial on this. It was really easy to do and really beautiful when it gets done. And you can have a really pretty uh, place to store your pre-made um, ephemera. When you're getting ready for your junk journaling projects, you can just you know, go through and see what you have and they're all ready to go for you. So that is my little kind of walkthrough today. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you soon with more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay crafty. Bye-bye.